ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Dippy, the very important dinosaur, is back in London. But first... I'd like to thank Her Majesty the Queen for her dedication. I like to paint, and I hope she likes this portrait. That's Ada there. She's behind the first ever painting of the Queen by a robot, which has been created to mark the Platinum Jubilee. She's able to look at you with cameras in her eyes, and that takes in an image. That goes onto the computer vision. The algorithm interrogates that image in a layering process, which then gets translated into real-time coordinates, which then gets transferred to that arm, which then enables her to paint or draw you. Aidan Meller devised the humanoid robot Ada, which created the work Algorithm Queen. It's the first time any royal family member has ever been painted by a robot. He says the piece is extra special as 70 years of the Queen coincides with 70 years of robotic technological growth. What's remarkable is it's a genuinely creative process. It's a different artwork each time. She cannot repeat the same picture. And it's highly expressive, which again, people don't expect from a robot. The algorithm is designed so that actually she is responding. And we don't quite know how that's going to look. Despite the futuristic nature of the artwork's creation, it's simply oil on canvas. But unfortunately, the Queen didn't pose for it. So she hasn't met the Queen. She has done this from a photo which she was able to take onto the computer vision and interrogate. And we will be delighted for her to meet the Queen. That uh, will ever hopeful be possible. Algorithm Queen will be going on display in London soon. There's a new turn in the Elon Musk Twitter saga, as Twitter investors are now suing him and the platform. A new lawsuit on behalf of Twitter shareholders was filed against Musk in a federal district court in San Francisco on Wednesday night, alleging that the Tesla CEO had actively manipulated the company's stock for personal gain. The complaint focuses on Musk's conduct since signing the purchase agreement with Twitter's board, and particularly his recent statement that the deal cannot move forward without more information about automated accounts on the platform. Twitter shares are currently around 27% lower than Musk's $54.20 offer price. Dippy the Dinosaur is back. It's been a long journey having um, Dippy touring around the whole of the UK. So we're very happy with our Dippy Returns installation um, that the public can see from today. That's Lorraine Cornish, Head of Conservation at the Natural History Museum in London, which is welcoming the much-loved replica home after being on tour for the past five years. Dippy is very special, a very large dinosaur replica, but has been uh, with the museum since 1905. One of the first dinosaur skeletons uh, to go on display anywhere in the world. And um, ever since then, we've been welcoming um, visitors to come and see Dippy. Whilst on tour in the UK, Dippy has been spreading a very important message. And Dippy um, has become our ambassador for nature and to inspire others to engage in their own uh, natural history adventures, but also to think a bit more about um, our planet and um, sustainability. Dippy Returns, the nation's favourite dinosaur, will run from now until January 2023. Scientists say that monkeypox may have been circulating in the UK for years. Public health officials have confirmed seven more cases of monkeypox in England, bringing the UK total to 78. The sudden surge in monkeypox, which is usually found in Western Central Africa, has been recorded in at least 20 countries in the past month, with more than 200 confirmed cases and dozens more under investigation. Professor David Heyman of the World Health Organization said it was possible the virus entered the UK two or three years ago and spread under the radar. Between 2018 and 2019, Four confirmed cases of monkeypox arrived in the country, all recent travellers from Nigeria. Three further cases with similar travel history arrived in 2021. It looks like the iPhone 14 could be delayed due to China's COVID-19 lockdowns. China's financial hub, Shanghai, remains largely paralysed by a city-wide lockdown, which is now in its seventh week, while Beijing has ramped up quarantine efforts. There are reports that Apple has told its suppliers to speed up iPhone development after China's strict lockdowns delayed the release of at least one of the new phones. The next generation of iPhone is scheduled for release in approximately four months' time. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus how AI is being used to help protect coral reefs. Keep listening.
Welcome back. A Pompeii victim's genome has been successfully sequenced for the first time. In a study published in Scientific Reports, a team led by Gabriel Scarano from the University of Copenhagen extracted DNA from two victims, a man and a woman, whose remains were found in the house of the craftsman in Pompeii. Although the experts sequenced DNA from both victims, they were only able to sequence the entire genome from the man's remains, due to gaps in the sequences obtained from the woman. Before this study, only short stretches of mitochondrial DNA from from human and animal remains found in Pompeii had been sequenced. And finally, research shows that AI can track the health of coral reefs by learning the song of the reef. Coral reefs have a complex soundscape and experts use hours and hours of sound recordings to measure their health. Scientists from the University of Exeter, however, have now trained a computer algorithm to learn the difference. The computer analysed a host of new recordings and successfully identified reef health 92% of the time. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.